welcome to Turkey. Night one, Istanbul. This one's already passed out. The flight from LA to Istanbul is 12 hours direct. That was a long flight. I'm pretty tired. I passed out about three minutes after this shot. But here's the thing about jet lag. You just can't give in to it. Although I admit it's really hard. Show me how excited you are. Yay. We woke ourselves up on time the next morning because there was something really special to see that honestly, it can't be missed if you're in Istanbul. Does it cover all my hair? I think it covers me enough, right? The Blue Mosque. This was the most breathtaking moment of our trip. We didn't know it was coming, nor had we ever really heard the call to prayer in person before. It's a totally different experience when you're sitting inside the mosque versus outside. He's so moved he can't even speak. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I just really wanted to show you this part. So the Blue Mosque, also known as Sultan Ahmed Mosque, also known as that iconic symbol of the Istanbul skyline. It sits higher than everything around it, so it can always be seen. It's grand on purpose. That's just about the coolest thing we've ever experienced. Isn't it? So you can't just wander into the Blue Mosque. It's a practicing mosque, which means there are people praying in there throughout the day. And when they're in there praying, the mosque closes to visitors, and that happens five times a day. We didn't know that ahead of time, so quick food break. No, high five. Wait, nope. And time's up. Back to the Blue Mosque. I should clarify, the inside of the mosque closes to visitors during prayer, but you can still go in the courtyard. You pass. Good job. It's a go. How many years have I wanted to see this? A decade? And since the mosque is so frequently closed throughout the day, it inevitably means you'll be waiting on lines. We're almost there. <laughs> It's huge inside, bigger than you would expect. So it's called the Blue Mosque because of those, the blue tiles that cover the walls and the domes inside. It's like the tiles are there on the balcony. They're so cute. I read somewhere that there are 20,000 tiles in this 400-year-old mosque. And it is every bit as impressive as it was designed to be. And just like that, it's over. After so many years of wanting to do this and to see this, our day in the Blue Mosque is done. One adventure down, a hundred thousand more to go. So who's been to the Blue Mosque before? Did you love it as much as I did? And who wants to go? Come back next week. There's a lot more of Istanbul to see.